Hey everybody, it is Saturday, December 6th, 2014, and we want to keep the little roll that we have been on going in terms of getting these out. And the market is shut down, uh, we've got time to sit back, reflect, hopefully you folks are or have been enjoying yourselves, R&R uh, &R over the weekend. And uh, when you get a chance to view this, uh, we're going to have this available to talk a little bit about the market and to kind of keep us a bit in the flow uh, while we still uh, rest and recuperate a bit. So uh, that's the idea of these and certainly stimulate uh, some some thought, uh, interest of uh, traders helping traders, as has been said by many people greater than I, greater than me, I guess it is. Uh, first of all, I just did want to remind people that for those interested that we have scheduled the uh, 2015 uh, live uh, Jelly Trader training session for the week of February 2nd. Um, and if you have any questions, comments at all uh, about that, uh, please, there's a, a post uh, below this one uh, that I uh, sent out earlier this week that talks uh, more about that. Uh, the site has all the information. I don't want to use this time as... Um, as anything more to uh, to hype or push or promote or whatever, I don't believe in that. Uh, we usually end up with the group anywhere from five to 12 people interested. I'm not about uh, knocking on doors or chasing ambulances. I'll mention it on the blog here, let people know that it's available. If you want more information, please go to the site, uh, the DonMillerEducation.com site, uh, and uh, um, there's more info there. So anyway, I did want to share though that the dates are uh, February 2nd of this year, um, and it'll be a week long of full immersion in the markets together. Having said that, uh, thoughts for today, other thoughts for today, uh, uh, journaling comes to mind as, as one uh, area that I, I, I don't think that we all are, are pursuing as we should, that we are not all as disciplined as we should be. Um, you know, that's something that uh, when I went back uh, live off the grid, if you will, um, in 2007, was it 2008? Um, I, the idea basically was to just start using a blog as my personal diary. I, I, I had not really journaled up until that point. I felt I needed to. And I also thought I had um, that, that some people might be able to benefit by reading over my shoulder. And, uh, and so this kind of took on a life of its own. And, and, you know, at one point we had a thousand individual traders that were visiting the site on a daily basis. And, and while I don't journal right now on a daily basis, um, you know, that certainly was a time in my life that I, I thought was uh, was very interesting from a number, number of perspectives. Um, I know that uh, some people challenged me on being a little bit too negative on, on those entries, and um, and you have to understand that I was I was being very critical of myself. I, I think that if we are not critical of, of what we are doing wrong or, or need to improve on, then we are missing out the opportunity that is really just there for the taking. And, and also, it was a personal diary that I just happened to allow people to view. Um, that certainly be, began, uh, became, over time, uh, the middle part of, of this book, um, where we took about 100 or so of, of what I thought were the most uh, pertinent, helpful, um, uh, based on what, what I thought and, and based on input from, from the community at that time, um, the, the most helpful posts that, that I thought would put everything in perspective while, while we went on that journey. Um, and, and so, uh, again, that reflects the, the meat of, of the book itself. Um, a book ended by very important, you know, before, after, all that kind of stuff, and, and some comments in between. But but the, the thought I want to promote today really is is that of journaling. Um, and and Dr. Brent Steenbarger uh, really does uh, does some great stuff on on explaining you know why it's so beneficial, and 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 I've just found it to be very very helpful. Um, I think that well I know that this market is 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 a game of rhythm, uh, a game of market rhythm, and a game of your rhythm. And, and um, Brett called it uh, the external observer, I believe it was, uh, if I'm using that term right, uh, where you could put yourself in, in the spot of, of really looking at yourself from afar um, and commenting on what you see this person doing, almost as if you were standing behind you. And that's really what the journal is about, um, ab about really objectively looking at your performance, what's, what's gone well, what's not gone well, um, you know, did you sleep in, whatnot, and then, and then go back and revisit that from time to time. And I, I think it's a great reinforcement tool. I know that's been helpful for me. Um, and, uh, and I certainly encourage you, if you're not doing it, um, you know, maybe that's one of the steps that you need to take in, in, in becoming that trader that you think you, you can be. Uh, I will continue to say that there is a razor-thin line that separates tremendous mediocrity from astounding success. It's so thin, and sometimes it's just one little tweak, one little push, 
to get you there, and and um, and that's what it's about. Uh, another, there's another section in the book that talks about the scorecard, and I'll put a link to uh, to a scorecard here for you if if you're interested in using it. Um, it it's in one of the chapters of of the Chronicles book. Um, if if you recall, when you were following my live daily journal back in, uh, I think this at this point it was uh, 2009, early 2009. That, that, that it still to this day stands the, to be my most consistent quarter. I think it was uh, 56 days profitable, three negative. Um, I'm pretty sure those are the right numbers. Um, and, and and that was the quarter that I implemented this this personal scorecard, where it was all about measuring ourselves against certain certain parameters, um, uh, certain objectives, uh, all non-financial, non-qualitative, or non-quantitative. Uh, and and coding them color blue or, or red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green in terms of whether we were doing well or not, um, and then maybe putting a couple of personal traps on that scorecard as well. You know maybe you you, you tend to overtrade in the afternoons or you shouldn't be trading after three o'clock Eastern or whatever. We'll put that in as a line item and score yourself and focus yourself every day on meeting those objectives. Forget about the profitability. Focus yourself yourself on on getting to the end of that day and being able to to grade yourself green on that scorecard. And and you know if you look at a scorecard, there's two sections. There's the market environment up top where you're kind of grading the market in terms of its its pattern, its 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 degree of readability, uh, how much it gels with you. Um, you know let let's define the market opportunity up here. And then the lower part is is evaluating yourself. Given the market was doing A, did you also do A? You know, the market may have been doing A and you were doing B. And so, you know, maybe the opportunities will be all green up here, but you'll have some yellows and reds down here. And, and, and that'll just be a good way for you to judge yourself and, and improve your performance over time. Uh, again, to this day, uh, that quarter remains my most profitable. I will also say that when I stopped using the, the scorecard, um, thought I didn't need it anymore, you know, a little outsmarting myself, my results deteriorated. So um, it, it's something that I feel very strongly about. We, we use it on a daily basis in the Jelly course. Uh, but it's something that certainly if you want to incorporate that in your own trading, you're, you're very uh, welcome to do. It's, it's an Excel file. Um, I'll try to get the Excel file loaded if I can figure out how to, how to get you guys to download it. Otherwise, I'll have a PDF there and you can create one on your own. It's, it's real simple. Um, but I, I think that's a, that's a part of this business as well in terms of, of not only journaling, but then having some kind of an object, objective process where we can grade ourselves and be very candid about it uh, in terms of, um, of how we, we think we're doing. Um, and, and you kind of take a step back at the end of a week or a couple of weeks and, 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 and you'll see groups, maybe the yellows show up in one particular area over and over again. And then you go into the next week just focusing on that. And it's almost a process of elim elimination. You know, once you, 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 you know, one of the Sherlock Holmes, you know, once you get rid of what's impossible, then what's left is possible or something like that. Once you get rid of what does not work, you are left with what does work. Uh, it, it's, it's as, as is the case in this trading business, we're minimizing bad and maximizing good, uh, and hopefully maybe not eliminating the bad, but certainly minimizing it to a very small degree. And, and so I offer that up uh, certainly for, for your use, um, something I, I feel strongly about. Um, what else, what else, what else? Had, uh, had some good discussions, emails uh, going back and forth uh, within the community over the course of the past week, uh, including one, uh, like a few back and forth discussions we've had with stage five trading. I, I think that's a uh, a, a top-notch shop, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, FT71, uh, the Twitters, uh, the tweets, and, and the trader bite that they do. I, th I think that's just incredible. Um, I, I commend them for what they've done. Uh, we continue to work uh, uh, a bit with uh, Charlie Cochran and, and Peter Nannis uh, in terms of, of the tool. Got a great email from someone this past week that showed me how he traded MATD morning after trend day uh, with with the the tools and the signals that. Um, that the Inside Edge software was providing from, from uh, that, that Peter and Charlie had, had, had been working on. So, you know, that, that it's nice to see he actually sent me a picture of, of, of the chart from the system and kind of how he did it. And, and MATD obviously is about uh, trading oscillations around the new price level uh, once that new level has been obtained and, and all that. Um, also, for, for, for some of you, this may be a shock, but I've been spending a bit of time with Market Profile lately, in, in part because Inside Edge kind of points to it, but, but in part because I've, I've always been – a, a bit interested. It's always been on my list of things to look at, um, and and I do continue to believe that it doesn't matter what you use, whether it's a ruler, tape measure, yardstick. Pick one. Okay, you don't need them all. You're going to overcomplicate things. Uh, market profile is clearly something that is contextual. Um, it will help you put the market in context in terms of where where uh, high volume and low volume opportunities are, uh, and and 
I, I think there's, there's some wonderful benefit to that, and people obviously are doing very well just using that by itself or, or using that along with what they have. Um, I, I, I think in my case it's always going to be a smaller element um, because it, 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 it does align you know, very nicely with, I, I look at ES, for example, this past week at, at around the 70 level, and, and you know, it just had sub, such support. Well, if you looked at market profile, you see there were, you know, high volume nodes there. And, and uh, But if, if also you looked at the daily chart or a tick chart or a 30-minute chart or 60-minute chart, you're also showing support that, at that level. So, you know, it, it's kind of like having the ruler and the yardstick together. Um, I'm, I, I'm not sure that you need both, but, um, you know, I can certainly see where the things align and, and where it makes sense. Uh, this, this, this business is all about understanding market bias. What is the market most likely to do? And then aligning ourselves with that path, with that market. Um, that's the way the game has always worked. It's a game of flow. I uh, just talked to a couple of people um, that, were, um, that were thinking about you know, doing the thing in February. And we talked about that flow, market flow, feel, pulse. The market is a living, breathing organism made up of a large population you know, with different intents, different time frames, and that kind of thing. But it is a living, breathing animal. The more that we know its psychology, the more that we learn that particular market, as well as we know our kids, learn its tendencies, learn when it gets tired, learn when it gets angry, cranky, learn when to stay away from it. <laughs> it's like your kids. Um, you know, th that's, that's when this business starts making sense. So um, those are some thoughts uh, about, uh, uh, you know, in terms of, of this weekend, I guess. Um, journaling, scorecarding, are you doing it? Should you be doing it? Um, you know, if, if you're kind of on the lazy side, and I, I can get there uh, many times, uh, your results are going to show. If you really want to buckle down and make this work, you know, align yourself with something that can at least measure your progress. Um, and, and I think you'll find that to be a, a tremendous benefit. So uh, no one's going to make you do it, though. You know, I can talk about it. Others can talk about it. Uh, you got to get yourself up by your bootstraps or whatever you're going to do. Kick yourself in the butt. Um, you know, most of us are doing this on our own. And, and you've got to self-motivate yourself. Otherwise, align yourself with a small group of, of like-minded people. Um, anyway, thoughts for the weekend. Enjoy the weekend. Get some R&R. &R, have a great week. Um, doing some oil trading, by the way, at this end. Uh, again, yes is my bread and butter. Um, I know it like my kid. <laughs> it could bad and ugly. Uh, but I love it, just like I love my children. And, uh, but I'm, 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 I'm having some success with oil lately on all these patterns. It's, uh, it's using another part of my brain. So. Anyway, thoughts for this weekend. Have a great weekend, and we'll catch you next week. Take care. Bye.